please fucking work. My cock, my cock. It's yes. Okay. I should have turn this off. Black bitch is coming towards me. As you can see, watch. Basically, what's inside of the human body. And now, let me take up like, these two of those. This one. Yes. Uh, so let me explain. It. In the starter character, there is this thing called a humanoid, and it is basically your soul devious uh and it basically hides it when you're in there but yeah and now i want to take i believe it's yeah these two is, it should be these i have ambience on in there uh yeah now i want to show you what it looks like in third person also, there's a little view model there I added. I added a flashlight too. And well, I'll show you the monster and the jump scare in a second. So there's a walk, run, jump, and fall. The jump doesn't always like the word. It's fucking devious as hell. Like my dick. Ooh. Anyway. And, uh. You can crouch. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. idle for the crouch and a walk for the crouch. And the view model basically it can be animated but I didn't really make it any advanced. I just made a short little script to uh where it'll just pop up on your screen like a copy of it so I can technically go for fucking walls. So it's kind of fucking fun. And as far as I know, as far as I know other people can't see. Not a hundred percent sure though. You shouldn't be able to they should. If not, then it's, I guess, something you can play around with. But yeah, there's also an idle animation. Like, standing up. And yeah, you basically, to get in that, you just click E on it. And then to get out, you click E on it again. Or you just click the button. And the monster, it's smart, but it's big, so it doesn't always... So, and it can't walk through the pathway, it'll just teleport back. So it looks kind of goofy sometimes. But it's still creepy as fuck. Yeah, I also added bee hopping. And, as you can tell, a jump scare. Now, let me put the camera sway shit back in. Uh, I'm a big fat dick in my butt. Put your dick in my butt. Also, about the World War II game. I'll be adding more to that soon. I just wanted to take a break from it because I got a bit bored. <laughs> As you could tell, what I mean by a bit, by a lot. Because I made a, quite a few games already by now, after it. But I think that this game, Backrooms game, is going to be good. And eventually, the character can become more realistic and everything. But yeah. Isn't that so cool? Whoa. This is so Don't 
playing with me, stop playing with a Miley. Yeah, I would add a third person mode, but then it wouldn't really necessarily be too much of a horror game because you wouldn't really be able to tell where he is. I mean, would. But when you're first person, you can't. Wait, can you travel from locker to locker? Let me figure this shit out. Yo. Oh! Yo. Epic Gamer! I don't know how, why you can still run while you're crouching. Super devious. Yeah. So that's really it about it. I'm eventually gonna add like guns and stuff to it. And then maybe like you can kill your friends and the monsters if you want and like try to survive. Yeah, you're basically an async employee or whatever that has that shit. And there's a smiler. I don't remember which level it came from, but it, I believe it's in this one, but like this many jump scares doesn't actually get you, chase you. And a bunch of this is like plugs hanging around everywhere. Um, try to make the map look like a bright phobia. Why is so devious? Let me know in the comments what monster or entity I should make next, next and if I should replace this one with that one or what. Fuck. Sorry about that. Uh. But, 